Welcome to a Besto TV production. If you enjoy our content, please click the subscribe button. To get notifications of new releases, ring that bell. Thank you, and away we go. Creative Continuity. We bring the convention to you. This is Mr. Lobo for Creative Continuity, and I'm here at Baltimore Comic Con with Joe Staten. Hello. Cartoonist, comic book artist extraordinaire. Mm. Uh, and, and, and currently, are you still doing the newspaper strip? Yep, I've been drawing the Dick Tracy newspaper strip for about six years now, and uh, uh, plan to stick with it for quite a few more. That's incredible. Currently doing Dick Tracy, which is one of my all-time favorite mm. characters. I love Dick Tracy. Uh, he is He's kind of like the detective. He, he is. The, he, he is the American version of Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> the American Sherlock Holmes. Yes. And he's got a lot of great gadgets, and he's got a lot of uh, an amazing rogues gallery of yes. villains. Right. And I would say that, like, I think Batman and all the things that came afterward uh, I think uh, follow that template of having this kind of rogues gallery of, of uh, devious and strange looking very, uh, yes, villains. Very much. Dick Tracy had a, a huge influence on Batman. So, uh, yeah, Tracy's in there. Uh, certainly, certainly. And, 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 and what's interesting is that they always try to like, uh, like when they did the movie, they had all the villains all together, but that rarely ever happens. It's usually Dick Tracy kills one guy. Yes. He kills Pruneface, and then somebody else shows up. Yeah, they're, they're, they're uh, very considerate about that. You know, one, one guy shows up right after the other guy dies. Um, yeah, yeah, they come single file. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Tracy has a thing about being dragged behind cars. There, there was once, one time where he was tangled up in a chain, was dragged behind a car for about two or three weeks, and, and the gas tank sprang a leak, and gas spurted out on Tracy, and caught him on fire. So he was being dragged cross country while on fire. Dragged on cross country <laughs> on fire, and that that guy's that guy must have hide like a rhinoceros, because <laughs> nothing. I, I mean, figure. I feel like he would just be a skeleton by now with all the um, things that he's been through. And he. As you know, probably has more scars than Batman. So yeah, probably. I, I think didn't they spoof him in like a, a Little Abner, where they had Fearless Fosdick, who yes. was sort of like a, a, a parody of Dick Tracy. He had like a giant hole through his body with a bird flying through. We, we actually did a, a crossover with Fearless Fosdick in the strip. In our strip, uh -huh. Fearless Fosdick is Dick Tracy's favorite comic strip. Oh wow! So, and so we had Tracy uh, hallucinate an adventure with. With, with, with Fearless Fosdick. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. What I really love about these characters, and what I really love about your work, is that they're exciting and they're fun, but there is this kind of humor that kind of comes through everything, you know? As, and as hard as I try, it's, it keeps on coming through. Just persistent. <laughs> yes. And, and uh, you know, and it's hard it's hard not to smile mm. when you're looking at these characters, you know, even if, even if they're uh, mean or heroic mm. or dynamic. Oh, not only did you get to work on Dick Tracy, which is you know an all-American, amazing, incredible institution, but you've been you've been fortunate enough to work on Green Lantern as yep, well, right? Who is not at all you know uh, Americans. I mean, they're they're most of them are aliens. Alien, yes, very yes. very uh, intergalactic. Intergalactic, mm -hmm, exactly. Mm -hmm. Open-minded. Every everyone's um, welcome. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, one of them is is a chipmunk, and do uh, they have any potted plants? Yes, they do. Uh, wow. How much Green Lantern material did you work on? I, I did several years of Green Lantern. I'd had two different runs on Green Lantern in, in the uh, 80s and, and 90s. Um, oh, wow. 80s yeah. and 90s. Now, that's when I was really consuming the most amount mm -hmm. of my comics uh, in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was a big fan of a comic book called E-Man. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that was from the seven, oh, originally the 70s. Originally the 70s. See, I yeah. didn't discover it until the 80s. Yep. Um, but he had an E equals MC square on his chest and uh, yep. kind of coiffed blonde yes. hair. And, and and you were the co-creator of right. E-Man. Along, along with the writer Nicola Cuddy. Might mention that E-Man's uh, partner was a stripper uh, by the name of Nova Kane. Who, Nova Kane. Nova Kane. Yes. Working her way through college as a stripper. Wow. Uh, wow. I think mm -hmm. that's that's one the only time that's happened for a superhero character. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, and, and, and it's funny because strippers are always working their way through college. What time period were you working uh, with the Justice? League characters. Middle to late 70s, it was kind of uh, 
when I first came to DC. Okay, uh, yeah. that seems like an insurmountable thing. It's like, okay, let's get all the greatest heroes in the world, and I know you're really busy, but we're all going to come together and be in this one team. Yes, let's all let's all have an adventure. Yeah, yep. yeah. Do you have any uh, favorite characters uh, from that? From the uh, Justice, all, Justice Society. Uh, well, I always like the the original uh, Green Lantern a lot, um, and I liked I liked Wildcat, who was. Uh, Basically a boxer. Okay. Uh, Sandman. I mean, a lot, a lot of weird yeah. characters there. Black Canary. Love Black Canary. Black Canary's good. Yeah. So obviously Green Lantern was an old friend by the time you got to uh, oh, yeah. I've, I've working on Green Lantern. Many versions of Green Lantern. Yeah. yeah. What do you think the appeal is of Green Lantern? I mean, because that character has a lot of longevity. People are still excited. I see people walking around with their Green Lantern mm-hmm. shirts, all ages, all sizes. Mm-hmm. I mean, what do you think is the appeal, the, the ultimate appeal of that character? Well, I guess, you know, you go all the way back to the magic lamp, and, uh, which is what uh, the original Green Lantern from the 40s, uh, that, that was how he got his powers. From a, from a lantern. A lantern. An actual a mag- lantern. A magic, magic a- a lantern. Turned out to be uh, a radioactive meteorite from outer space was, was formed into a lantern. So, it, you know, it had a kind of a pseudoscientific gloss, but basically it's, it's a, a magic lantern. And I guess it's that idea of something, someone, someone somewhere is going to select you and draft you from your mundane, right. everyday life, yes. right? Yes, and take you off to save the universe. Okay, I know you've got this uh, Dick Tracy watch. Would you like to talk a little bit about that? It's, it's being adapted to take Bluetooth, so uh, pretty soon you'll have an actual authentic vintage Dick Tracy watch. Oh man, I gotta get uh, one. That, that uh, you can contact headquarters and uh, of course now you can call in drone strikes with it. So uh, yes. uh, <laughs> Call your drones, your yes. trash cans come flying exactly. in. Exactly. Oh, you've read this stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we have those. Yeah, uh, awesome. Yes. Wonderful. I have a, a website, okay. uh, www.joestaten.com. So www.joestaten.com. Okay, and I'm on Facebook like everybody. And, uh, oh. Well, hopefully, uh, well, fr- accept my friend request on Facebook. Okay, <laughs> uh, will that be from Zachary? It'll be from no. It'll <laughs> be from from. I wish it would be from Mr. Lobo. Uh, from Mr. Lobo. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. I, will, I will be looking for Mr. Lobo. All right. Or, or Alan Smithy, perhaps, if I'm using my alter <laughs> ego. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Good, mm-hmm. good alter ego. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you very okay. much, sir. It's great talking to you. We hope uh, to see many, many, many adventures with Dick oh, Tracy. Mr. Lobo, it says so right yes, there. Yes, that's right. Okay. It's, it's official. Yes. Uh, 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 I could be a villain, perhaps. I'll have you to could. do something with my face, but I could maybe... We, we do occasionally... Do stories with uh-huh. horror hosts showing up. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. hmm. well, we could do that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll talk, Mr. <laughs> Staten. Uh, but anyhow, thank you so much okay. for entertaining us with uh, amusing and exciting characters and showing us so much fun with your artwork. And uh, we we need a billion more comics. This is Mr. Lobo signing off from Baltimore Comic Con for Creative Continuity. We bring the convention to you. <laughs>